Kyle and you, welcome to yet another interesting edition of your program on Unfiltered Conversation on Cleveland TV. My name is Frank Heidi Media, and we are still on the series of um, um, feedback from um, Festac uh, Africa Destination Arusha. All right, my guest this morning is uh, Mr. Sophie Thomas Z, who is the director of NET BMC Tanzania. You're welcome to the program, sir. Thank you so much, madam. I hope I got that name right. Perfect. Is that right, sir? Let, let, we'll, we'll start with you. Please tell us about yourself, your company, and then the primary focus of your company. Thank you so much uh, for availing me of this opportunity. As you have said, my name is Solpis Thomas Mze. I'm the founding director and the Chief Executive Officer of Nati DMC Limited. What is Nati DMC Limited? Uh, Nati stands for Norbert Venture Tanzania Destination Management Company. We are a legitimate tour operator and a destination management company with our headquarters in Arusha, Tanzania. Uh, our company uh, do provide authentic and unique customized uh, independent private safari programs to ultimate families, uh, special interest group, FIT, and uh, cooperative groups. Uh, in terms of services, uh, our program uh, ranges from uh, organizing safari to the national parks in Tanzania. Uh, the climbing of the famous mountain Kilimanjaro. We do luxury and the flying uh, honeymoon uh, packages. We do cultural and historical tours, programs. We do MICE. MICE stands for meeting, uh, incentive, conference and events. Uh, we do photographic tours. Uh, we do conference. Uh, incentive safaris. Uh, we do various uh, associated safari, including uh, adventure last, lifetime programs in the uh, Zanzibar. Uh, to mention a few, those are among our services. Thank you. Uh, that's, that's quite impressive and a good one out there being in the tourism sector. All right, recently, the um, first Act Africa had a program in your country, Tanzania, which is, was tagged the first Act, right, Arusha. All right, so share with us your experience of that event. Well, uh, it's quite interesting question, but uh, I can try as my level best to be brief. But uh, in terms of first Act, uh, the event was honestly huge, significant for Africans, since it encouraged Africans to come together as members of the same family, celebrate our shared heritage uh, through the arts, and uh, recover our humility and humanity and identity from the colonial mindset. That's what an experience I can say in, in a nutshell. So what, what was the biggest um, takeaway from that event? Sure. Now, hello, sir. What was the biggest takeaway from that event? What imprinted your, in your mind more about the event? Oh, um, what I can say, uh, first like, as its origin, in the, uh, the black man's struggle for equality and respect. Its purpose is to affirm one's individuality by celebrating one cultural traditions and reclaiming one's artistic voice. All right, thank you so much. Well, 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 uh, uh, you, well, you've obviously enjoyed yourself, but I still want to ask this question. Were you sad? So come again? Uh, sure. It was extremely fantastic. I can call in our tourism language more than speed networking opportunity. 
I've known yes, many African sisters. I've known many African brothers and sisters in the event from whom we we'll open an avenue for supporting one another in our business across the globe. All right, now, now, now let, 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 let's get to this. You are into the tourism sector. All right, and in most African um, countries and even individuals, they are not so um, familiar with that sector. Do you mean that uh, the business uh, doing tourism among Africans can be achieved through tourism? That's what you are saying, yeah, right? Exactly. Of course, exactly. I can say yes, I can say yes, uh, with no doubt, yes. of course. I can just take Kenya as an example. Um, over 50% of the GDP contribution is fed by Kenyans themselves from the tourism sector. Take an example of South Africa, for instance. Oh, very recent, I, went, uh, I was there for WTM uh, event. You can see uh, they, they are there to, to, to exclusively sell their destinations as Africans. You see? So, from my observation, what I'm seeing, if we allow ourselves to work together and embrace our people as customers of our own, we have a lot to gain is the African continent. I will still come back to that question later, which is Africans working together to grow the economy of uh, Africa. But le let's take this thing. How conducive is Tanzania? For this kind of business, tourism business. Thank you so much for that question once again. Uh, in terms of uh, conduciveness, uh, Tanzania is a prominent uh, destination. And uh, in terms of uh, security uh, and uh, adherence to the international standards of uh, pandemics, Tanzania, we are more than ready to receive uh, tourists across the globe. And uh, by our current president, uh, Our Excellency Dr. Samia Sulu, uh, she's extremely uh, well used and experienced in the sector. And uh, she provides a lot of support to ensure the sector is welcoming uh, tourists and is safe for accommodating visitors across the globe. All right, we've heard so much about Arusha, Tanzania, and, and all that. All right, most of us have not really been there. I think I have not been there, and the most African uh, Africans have not had the privilege of being to Arusha. But we've heard stories from there, how beautiful the place is, different and tourist sites and attractions and all that. Could you please um, relate with us, the different tourist sites, all right, and attractions in Tanzania? Oh, thank you so much. Uh, first of all, if I try to explain Arusha, Arusha is the is the is, is the center. Arusha is the hub for tourism. But uh, combining uh, Tanzania as a country with abundant things to offer in real nature, from north to south, from east to west, with the beautiful nature attractions. A very good example I can find it is on the northern part of Tanzania. You can find in Gorongoro crater and the old Vai gorge it's only available in the world in arusha the northern part of tanzania let's combine to the adizabi communities those are people you can find with the unique nature we have kilimanjaro mountain eh? the only you can find in tanzania and the serengeti national park to mention a few which is a paradise of lions that i can say wow. Wow, that was beautiful. All right, so I, I think I was going to come back to the question of doing business um, with other African countries and the benefits. So I'll take that question now. So what makes you to think, okay? Or do you think that Africans may talking and then doing business with each other can actually boost every sector? Is it profitable for African and then for the economy as well? Oh, do you mean that Africans can work together? Business of tourism. Yes, ahead, please. I just want to hear your question again. Okay, my question was this: it may talking, okay, and Africans doing with doing business with Africans or African countries doing business with other African countries. Do you think it's beneficial for the African continent? 
हा दिस आई कैन आई आई कैन जस्ट गिव दिस एज इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस एज वेल यू नो we have we have everything as as i mentioned before in my previous uh, responses and uh, as african leaders you see what i see i embrace the unification among themselves first try to streamline the policies uh, and the systems ensuring we have almost similarities to what we do offer because we have a lot to offer if we combine our uh our policies if we streamline our ideas and uh, we focus on offering uh, as continent i believe we have a lot to gain from the unification mm. all right thank you so much for that now, now, let, let's go back to the tourism uh, industry and its development all right some people even africans all right do not really believe that is a, a business viability in uh, in the tourism sector and in most people in most countries we have tourism sites that are not even recognized because they don't know how important that sector is do you think that developing the tourism sector or right, i can actually grow the um, any continent the african uh, continent yeah thank you so much for that question once again uh what i can say tourism is one of the most stable sources of revenue for our government to mention on one side so establishing policies that would protect our interests as a continent and having a combined system that would favor africans as a continent and the conserve our environment would yield a better results on a sustainable way all right so talking about um, about um, um, implementing policies that will protect the interests of uh, tourism. How supportive is the Tanzania government on tourism matters? Uh, let me respond to this question by citing some of the examples. Uh, for instance, uh, in terms of destination marketing, uh, Our Excellency uh, Samia Sulu Hassan, our president, she has launched a, a, a royal tour. I think now you have an access of it because it's now veining over the world. but uh, through the royal tour uh tanzania now is very well known across the global what we have what we can offer and what is our nature for which is mostly attracted for tourism business in terms of uh, networking and the communication for instance uh, uh the minister who is responsible uh is as well launched uh, an installation system for networking around uh, Kilimanjaro mountain that gives our guests an opportunity to communicate with their fellows while they are on the uh, hiking uh, you know activities in the mountain uh, another example I can cite is the development of infrastructures as well so we have a continuous maintenance of our roads uh, in the national parks uh, uh, restructuring and uh, advancing our information system that's what i can mention in a in, in a nutshell uh, among the efforts the government is really supporting the sector thank you so do you have uh, laws that can protect or that protects the interest or overseas the interest of tourists okay and then tourism itself <laughs> of course <laughs> of course yes uh Uh, you know like uh, every ground ground handler in Tanzania eh? when i say ground handler i mean a tour operator or uh, the suppliers like the hotel whatever and all service providers within the industry you know uh, the procedures for licensing is also based on the specific laws that sincerely guide the tourism operations All right so to other african leaders okay that have not imbibed into the concept of tanzania what recommendations would you give to them in regards on tourism and in developing the sector to grow their in their economy uh what i can say uh african leader 
must see the value and appreciate the potential of the attractions and the resources with which we have been endowed by, the, by our by, by our um, almighty uh, by our almighty that's what i can say first but also they need to to unite i said it before and harmonize their policies and systems as a continent uh what i can add as well a huge population within the continent with a big chance eh? as a huge population within the african continent we have a big chances to feed our market on our own and create a substantial income before waiting for for the one which we depend from outside the continent all right, thank you so much, Mr. Sophie Thomas, for being my guest this morning. I'd like you to leave us with a message from NAT DNS for the African uh, for the African continent. A message from your company to us as a last word. Uh, a message that um, I can I can leave uh, reflecting the the, the first act event uh, is we as African first. We should really need to and realize the potential that we have. We should really come, uh, recall ourselves and come back together and sit together as a single uh, member of a family. We should love one another and we should really uh, appreciate our identity and the humanity and leave those uh, mentality that we have with before from the colonial uh systems but also in terms of uh, a tourism business as i said it before as well we should uh also uh recognize the potentiality of the resources and the nature beauty of africans so we should network to one another we should help one another we should give and feed one another so that as a continent we can prosper we can really uh, maximize our potential and uh, become uh, a bigger, become bigger, and the world known uh, across the globe. Thank you. All right, thank you. All right, thank you so much for being my guest on this program this month. It was a, a beautiful and educative time with you on the on the program. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you so much. God bless you. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you so much, viewers. That's all we draw the curtain for today. I remain frankly the media. Do have a blessed day. You're most welcome and welcome to Nobody Venture Tanzania.